We are hearing from the judge at the center of the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial for the very first time. For two weeks, Judge Jennifer Doro was the voice of courtroom reason and restraint as she tried to diffuse verbal onslaughts from the man convicted of killing six people in the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Stop, I'm, so I'm so I can explain it. Your Honor, you've never, I did what you asked me to do. Actually not. Yes. Let me explain the, and if, if I you would like. If I didn't, Your Honor, if I did not do what you asked me to do, so tonight, our Michelle McCormack sat down with Judge Doro at the judge's home in Heartland. Among other things, they talked about the judge's thoughts on the trial and about her future career in the criminal justice system. December 1st is when candidates for state Supreme Court can begin the nomination process. Do you intend to run for Wisconsin Supreme Court? Well, it's certainly an experience that I've been through that demonstrates um, my demeanor, my temperament, my command of the law. Um, many people are qualified uh, to be candidates. Um, and so what I would just say is if I decide to run, I think I bring a commitment to the rule of law and excellence as a jurist and experience that I'd be able to hit the ground running with whatever cases may uh, present themselves in that venue. Is it with that in mind and a certain protocol on how you work or was it just innate in your personality to meet rage and outbursts with a very rhythmed and calm voice in the courtroom? Again, I don't want to comment on any particulars of any case that uh, I presided over, but um, I would say that every case that comes before me, um, my goal is to be both the guardian and the gatekeeper. And again, the deadline for all candidates to apply for the state Supreme Court is Thursday. Coming up tonight at 6.30, Judge Zorro speaks to the reports of her receiving fan mail after the Christmas parade trial.